Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here, and welcome back to another movie review. I promise I'm going to have my review of Ghost in the Shell. Probably not tonight, maybe tomorrow, because I am getting tired, I really... But I, I really want to do my review of this, so yeah. Next up is my movie review on The Town, starring and directed by Ben Affleck. Um, this is a film that I really wanted to check out, and I finally got a chance to. I loved Argo. I thought it was a great film. So I really wanted to check this film out, which came out in 2010. Um, September 17th, actually, and came out on DVD and Blu-ray on December 17th. Yeah, it came out four days um, before my birthday, so yeah. Um, Alright, so Boston bank robber Doug McCray. Uh, played by Ben Affleck, falls for a woman his uh, gang had previously taken hostage after finding a chance meeting with her to ensure that she can't identify uh, them in Affleck's adaptation of Arthur Chuck Hogan's novel known as Prince of Thieves. The son of a, a tough Charlestown, M.A. Thief Doug passed on his chance to walk the street and narrow in favor of becoming a career bank robber. Not only is Doug's crew one of the most ruthless in Boston, but they're also one of the best. Um, they never leave a uh, trace of evidence and always make a clean break. Over the years, Doug's fearless partners in crime have become something of a surrogate family to him. Uh, Jem, played by Jeremy Renner, the most dangerous of the bunch, is the uh, uh, closest thing Doug has ever had to a brother, but a divide begins to open between the two uh, career criminals when Jem takes bank manager uh, Claire Kesey, played by Rebecca Hall, hostage during a particularly uh, tense heist, and uh, and the group um, subsequently discovers that she hails from their own tight knit. Um, suburb when Jim pro um, when Jim uh, proposes that uh, the game make an effort to uh, make an effort to find out just how much Claire recalls about the crime Doug fears that is uh, a volatile partner may do more harm than good and volunteers himself for the job. Later, Doug turns on the the charm while pretending to bump into Claire by chance and becomes convinced that she doesn't suspect him of being the same man who just robbed her bank. As the feds um, turn up the heat on the gang, Doug finds uh, himself falling for Claire and searching desperately for a means of cutting his ties to his criminal past. But with each passing day, Jem grows increasingly suspicious of Doug's true motivations, uh, now caught between two worlds with no chance of turning back. Doug realizes that his only hope for finding a happy future is to betray the only family he's ever known, and that is basically the main plot. Sorry if I spoiled a lot for you guys, but... <clears throat> You know, yeah. This is not really a whole lot violent. I mean, it's not a gore fest. I can promise you guys that. But you're not really in it for the for the violence. You're mostly in it for the story. It actually is kind of a bank robber movie. I mean, you also have uh, Blake Lively in this film as well. And uh, let me see. Um, who else do you have? You have. Uh, a lot more, but then Affleck definitely makes this film very well directed and very well acted. He knew what he was doing with this. Um, I can't quite remember what Ben Affleck's first uh, film he directed was, but I really hope he does direct more films. Um, you know, it definitely shows that he knows how to be a good director. I mean, take it like if this film was basically because you see they're in none mess. Take it if it were like the beginning of. Uh, the Dark Knight or something like that, but, you know, it definitely has that feel to it, like, a gripping, intense story that, with, um, 
not really a romance story per se. This is not a romance movie, but it certainly does feel like um, if it were more of a, uh, um, I wouldn't really say action. It's more of a thriller and a drama film. It's also kind of a romance film if you look into it, if you actually dug deeper into the story. But overall, the town has very great um, acting and directing from Ben Affleck. And uh, as well as its story, it's gripping, uh, you know, powerful performances. Um, I'm not sure if this was nominated for any Oscars, but um, I know Argo won for Best Picture in 2012. Uh, ben Affleck's other film, but I will say I think I like Argo just a little bit more, but this is still a really um, a really great film. I was about to say entertaining, but there wasn't a whole lot of action in the movie. I mean, it's not boring. I mean, once you actually um, get into the characters and the story more, then you just want to keep on watching the film, so yeah. I'm going to give the movie a four and a half out of five. It's definitely worth checking out. So that is it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.